Welcome back to The Ranking Show. My name's Cam Williams, and we've got some big changes to the WTA rankings this week with some players reaching career-high rankings, getting to the top 10 for the first time as well. And the finals are starting to shape up now with the ATP and WTA finals just around the corner. Let's start with last week's results because we had three tournaments last week and some big winners as well. So let's start at the Estrava Open, which is a WTA 500 event, so a lot of points up for grabs. And Contivate defeated Sarkari 6-2-7-5 to lift the biggest trophy of her career so far. But Sarkari did get rewarded for making the final, and we'll talk about that just in a second. Going over to the ATP now and an ATP 250 event at the Astana Open with Quan winning his first ever ATP title, beating Duckworth in the final 7-6-6-3. So we've got a brand new champion this week in Quan. And then heading over to France at the Marcel Open, we had Hercatch beating Carino Busta 7-6, 6-3. And Hercatch is starting to cement his spot in the ATP Finals as well. So winning this title just helps him a lot going into the end of the year and helping him get that ATP Finals spot. Let's head over to the WTA rankings, the top 10 for this week. Like I said, we had some changes within the top 10. With Ash Barty, she stays at number one. With Sabalenka at number two, Klitschkova stays at number three. But Svetlina, she drops down two spots spots to number six, being replaced by Sviontek, who made a semi-final last week in Ostrava. So she had a good week last week, and she is at a career high number four in the world. So congratulations to her. She is just rising up the ranks. She's followed very closely behind by number five, Krejcikova. Svetlana at six, and Kennan. She drops down to number eight with Osaka going up to number seven. So a little bit of a switch in the rankings there. Muguruza stays at number nine, and we have a new top 10 player, a new high ranking for Maria Sakari. She goes up two spots to number 10, pushing out Kvitova down to number 11. So Sakari also getting to a career high ranking and getting into the top 10 for the first time. Okay, heading over to the WTA Finals rankings. The race to Mexico, because of course it's been changed from Shenzhen to Mexico this year. We have Barty staying at number one. She's already qualified, as has Sabalenka, who's at number two. Krejcikova at three. Pliska at four. All of those have qualified. But Sakari, she goes up to number five, overtaking Spiontek after having a really good week this week. Actually beat Spiontek last week as well, which kind of interesting to see if they might play at the WTA Finals if they both qualify. Sviontek at number six, Osaka at number seven, but Osaka has pulled out of Indian Wells, so I don't know if she's actually going to be playing the WTA Finals this year. I highly doubt that she will, so she's at number seven for now. Don't be surprised if she pulls out of the competition. Muguruza at eight, Jabor at nine, and Elise Mertens. She drops down out of the top ten, making way for Pavlachenkova, who makes her return to the WTA Race to Mexico top ten. Some of the players that have gone up in the rankings over the last Last week, we have Contivate. After winning the Estrava Open, she goes up seven spots to number 23 in the world. And Teichman, she's gone up four spots to a career high number 38 in the world. So she's having a great season, Teichman, and really getting into the form that she was in before the US Open, beating some big players as well. So good to see Teichman continuing on her form. Some of the players that have dropped down to the rankings, we have Risk. She's dropped down 18 spots to number 50 in the world after losing a bunch of points from the Wuhan Open from two years ago that have dropped off. She got to the final of that event two years ago, so she lost a lot of points. And Van Udvank, she's gone down 34 spots to number 89 after dropping all her points from the Tash Kent Open that she won two years ago. So the points that players had earned two years ago starting to fall off. And next week, Osaka has a lot of points at the China Open, which she will lose. So we're going to keep on the rankings here because things are going to start changing very rapidly on the WTA side. Having a look at the ATP rankings now for the top 10 for the men and no change. With Djokovic staying at number one, Medvedev at number two, Sidney Pass at three, Zverev stays at four, Rublev at five, Nadal stays at six, Berrettini at seven, Team at eight, Federer at nine, and Casper Ruud rounding out the top 10. A lot of those players, of course, played the Labor Cup, but even though they won the Labor Cup with Team Europe, you don't get any points for that. So that's why there are no changes in the top 10 for the men this week. Heading over to the ATP race to Turin, the race to Italy. And there are some changes in the top 10. However, Djokovic stays at number one with Medvedev at number two and Tsitsipas at three. And of course, they've qualified already. But we have a new player who has qualified for the finals, Alexander Zverev. He is now qualified for the ATP finals. Lock him in. He is playing at the end of the year. He stays at number four. Rublev is very close behind and very close to qualifying himself. He's actually playing this week as well, so with a good result, he might qualify by next week as well. He's at number five. Berrettini at six. We have a change to the rankings with Hercatch going up one spot after winning a tournament last week while Rud played the Labor Cup, not winning any points. So Rud goes down one spot to number eight. Hercatch goes up to number seven, again, trying to solidify his spot in that top eight. We have Oje Aliasim at number nine and Yannick Sinner rounding out the top ten. Players that have gone up in the rankings this week, we have the two finalists. 
from the Astana Open, Duckworth. He's gone up nine spots to a career high ranking number 56 in the world. He's been in some great form lately. Actually won a Challenger event last week as well. So his ranking is starting to rise with some really good results. And the winner of last week's event, Quan, He's gone up 25 spots to number 57 in the world, which is a career high for him as well. So two career high rankings this week for players that played well, getting to a big final on the ATP. So good to see they're getting rewarded. The players that have dropped down to the rankings for the ATP, we have Diminor. He's dropped down five spots to number 26 in the world after he lost the points from the Zuha Championships from two years ago. Like I said, the Asian swing was supposed to be this time, but because it's not being played, a lot of points are being lost. And Manorino, he actually made the final of that same event two years ago. He's gone down 11 spots to number 54 in the world. So a couple of players that played well in Asia a couple of years ago, starting to lose points and dropping down to the rankings. So there you have it. They're the rankings for this week and some big changes for the WTA in particular. We're starting to see the ATP finals, WTA finals starting to shape up. Players are starting to qualify. Four spots left from each tournament at the end of the year, so it's going to be fun to watch over the next couple of weeks, especially Indian Wells. That's worth a lot of points. But as I said before, we're supposed to have the Asian swing at this time during the season, and a lot of players are going to start losing points because the rankings for both the men and the women are back to normal. So we're going to start seeing a lot of points being lost from the ATP and WTA rankings over the next couple of weeks. But let me know down in the comments below, who are you most surprised about being in the top 10? Because like I said, we've got a lot of players that are still in the top 10 because they're holding on to ranking points that they made two years ago. That'll start changing over the next couple of weeks. So we're starting to see players qualifying for the end of year finals. And the spots are starting to be taken up. Not too many spots left for the rest of the year.